Have you ever wondered how Vladimir Putin, a man once an obscure KGB agent, has managed to cultivate such an enigmatic personality cult? It's a question that has intrigued scholars, journalists, and casual observers alike. Personality cults are fascinating phenomena that have occurred throughout history, often built around charismatic leaders who command an almost religious adoration from their followers. They are a potent mix of propaganda, carefully crafted image, and sometimes genuine charisma. Enter Vladimir Putin. He's an intriguing figure who has successfully built a cult of personality around himself. Born in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, Putin's journey from an obscure KGB agent to Russia's long-standing leader is a story of determination, strategy, and an uncanny knack for understanding the pulse of his people. His early life was marked by hardship and struggle, but it was during his time in the KGB that Putin began to hone the skills that would later make him a formidable leader. He understood the power of perception, of image, and of authority. Over the years, Putin has carefully cultivated an image of a strong, decisive leader. His image is everywhere, his influence pervasive, from t-shirts to calendars, from state-controlled media to the social media feeds of his ardent supporters. He's portrayed as a macho figure, someone who isn't afraid to take on a bear, both literally and metaphorically. But it's not just about image. Putin's personality cult is reinforced by his actions, his policies, and his ability to maintain a firm grip on power. He's a leader who knows how to play to his base, who understands the appeal of strength in a world often defined by uncertainty. As we delve deeper into the world of Putin's personality cult, you might find yourself questioning the very nature of leadership and power. After all, the enigma of Putin's personality cult is a mirror, reflecting the complexities of human nature, politics, and power. Putin's journey to power wasn't a straight path. It was a meticulous crafting of an image that appealed to the Russian populace. In his early years of power, Putin didn't simply rely on his position as a leader. Instead, he actively shaped a persona that resonated with the people of Russia. He sought to become a symbol of strength and decisiveness, a leader who was not to be trifled with. He was strategic in his approach. Putin didn't just talk about strength, he showed it. He projected a macho image, participating in activities typically associated with masculinity and vigor. Horse riding, martial arts, even bare-chested hunting expeditions, he did it all. These weren't just hobbies for Putin. They were carefully chosen pursuits that reinforced the image he wanted to portray. His involvement in martial arts was particularly significant. Putin holds a black belt in judo, a discipline that he's practiced since his youth. He's often seen demonstrating his judo skills, a testament to his physical prowess and a metaphor for his political strategy, using an opponent's strength against them. Putin's forays into the wilderness, often shirtless and always in the company of a camera crew, became a staple of his image. Images of Putin riding horses, exploring Siberian forests, and interacting with wildlife were splashed across Russian media, cementing his reputation as a rugged outdoorsman. But it wasn't just about physical strength. Putin also sought to present himself as a decisive leader. He wasn't afraid to make tough decisions and stand by them, a trait that appealed to many Russians yearning for stability and strong leadership. In Putin's world, image is everything, and he was just getting started. As Putin solidified his stance and power, his image took on a life of its own. The man became an icon, a symbol of strength and decisiveness, etched onto the hearts and minds of his supporters. During these years of power, the cultivation of Putin's image didn't halt, it surged. State-controlled media worked overtime, painting a picture of Putin as the nation's fearless protector. This strategy was not about simply projecting an image, it was about weaving a narrative a narrative where Putin stood as the unwavering bastion against chaos, the shepherd guiding Russia through storms. And it wasn't just the media. His image was everywhere. T-shirts bearing his face were worn with pride, calendars with his photographs, each month showcasing a different facet of his personality, adorned walls across the nation. These weren't just merchandise, they were statements. Statements of allegiance, of support, of admiration. To wear a Putin t-shirt or to hang a Putin calendar was to align oneself with his vision for Russia. But the cultivation of Putin's personality cult didn't stop at everyday items. It seeped into the arts, the literature, 
the music. Songs were composed extolling his virtues. Books were written exploring his leadership style. Paintings were created, encapsulating his resolve, his determination, his courage. This widespread portrayal of Putin, this omnipresence, served a purpose. It reinforced his authority, bolstered his influence, and appealed to his base of support. It wasn't about creating an image of Putin as a leader, it was about creating an image of Putin as the leader. But to understand the full impact of this personality cult, we must look beyond Putin himself. Because at the end of the day, this is not just about one man, it's about a society that idolizes him. It's about a nation that has come to associate strength with one name, one face. Putin's personality cult is not just about him. It's a reflection of the society that idolizes him. The Putin phenomenon isn't just about a strong leader. It's about what this cult of personality means for Russia and the world. Vladimir Putin's personality cult has had profound impacts on Russia's politics, society, and international relations. His meticulously crafted image of strength and decisiveness has not only consolidated his power, but also deeply influenced the Russian political landscape. Supporters see him as a beacon of stability, a leader who restored national pride after the chaos of the post-Soviet era. Critics, however, see his reign as an era of increasing authoritarianism and suppression of dissent. This image also plays a significant role in shaping societal norms and values. The portrayal of Putin as the epitome of masculinity and power has set a benchmark, influencing the perception of leadership and gender roles within the Russian society. It is a carefully constructed narrative that reinforces traditional values, appealing to a wide base of supporters who yearn for a stable and powerful Russia. On the global stage, Putin's personality cult has implications as well. His image as a forceful, unyielding leader has shaped international perceptions of Russia, be it in the realm of geopolitics, where he has often taken a confrontational stance, or in terms of soft power, where his machismo persona is a tool of influence, Putin's image has been a key element of Russia's global strategy. But perhaps the most significant impact lies in the longevity of Putin's rule. The cult of personality has enabled him to remain in power for over 20 years, a feat few leaders have achieved in the modern era. It has allowed him to shape Russia's trajectory in the way he sees fit, with little opposition. The Putin phenomenon, a meticulously crafted personality cult, continues to shape the course of Russia and beyond. From an obscure KGB agent to a leader with a thriving personality cult, Putin's journey is a masterclass in image creation. To recap, we've seen how Putin's early years in the KGB shaped his approach to leadership. He's always been a man of action, with a knack for cultivating an image of strength and decisiveness. His rise to power was marked by strategic image crafting. Infamous shirtless photos, a walk through a meadow with a bear, these are not just random snapshots of Putin's life. They are carefully curated to project an image of vitality and virility, reinforcing his authority and appeal to his base of support. But it's not just about physical prowess. Putin's personality cult extends to his political acumen as well. His leadership style, which many view as authoritarian, is part of the allure. It's reminiscent of historical autocrats like Joseph Stalin, feeding into the narrative of Putin as a strong and unyielding leader. As the years passed, the cultivation of this personality cult continued. His image, appearing on everything from t-shirts to calendars, has become ubiquitous in Russia. It's a constant reminder of his presence and dominance. This has had profound implications not just in Russia but globally too. The Putin phenomenon, as it's often called, is a testament to the power of image in politics. It's a stark reminder of how a carefully crafted personality cult can sway public opinion and consolidate power. It speaks volumes about the role of charisma and image in leadership. But it's also a mirror reflecting the society that idolizes him. It's a commentary on how power and authority are perceived and respected in the modern world. As we bid adieu, remember, Putin's personality cult is more than just about him. It's a mirror to the society that idolizes him, a reflection of power and authority in the modern world.